document documenting this um, uh, experience I'm having with Black and Decker. Um, I have bought a couple things recently from Black and Decker. It used to be that I wouldn't buy things from Black and Decker because I thought they fell apart way too soon. And then this is talking years and years and years ago. You know, I'm talking back to the you know cordless screwdriver days. Um, and but recent, you know, probably within the last year, I bought this drill that was about forty bucks and you know has an extra handle, so you can. Uh, it's probably on here somewhere on the site somewhere, but um, that really is an electrical plug-in drill, and it's super, super powerful, and I was just totally blown away that such quality came from Black & Decker. I thought, oh, man, they've changed their game. You know, they, they've um, they've stepped things up, and, you know, it's a whole new world, and, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I went out, and I bought a um, blender, and it's, the box is right here by me here, Black & Decker Cyclone Blender. It was about $39.99 at Target, I think. And putting it through the ringers and um, seeing what it can do, and I was actually going to give it away to um, some of my newsletter subscribers at one of my sites. And what I ha I've had some, some issues with it, and one of the things that has happened is the the gasket is a little faulty, a little rubber ring that's like what a, a cost a dime to make or something probably, but without it, everything's going to leak out the bottom. So I went online to say, okay, I need a new gasket, and I go to Black and Decker, and I'm going to step you through this um, fun little experience. It's a total pain in the ass, frankly. Um, of trying to get help. Um, so I went to Home Appliances, and this is just me trying to find, um, get a part. Okay, I got, um, see if that's going to come up or not. Okay. All right, I'll try that one again. And I'm going to step you through what I'm seeing and I'm going to send this to Black & Decker and um, share this experience because it, it amazes me uh, with the state of the economy, how many companies, how many big companies continue to outsource, which is one thing, to save money and cut costs and so forth, but then don't keep tabs on the people they outsource. And you wonder why you, you lose brand equity. It's really, really dumb. Okay, so that's not. Uh, oh, here we are. It's it's it did load up. It's just in a different tab here. So it takes me to this. Okay, it takes me to this next place and uh, products home. Um, okay, so I go down here, and this is for a blender. So I go to food preparation and I go blenders. Okay, bring that up. So I'm going to scroll down here and look for the one I have, which is this one right here. And notice also here, uh, $49.99 is the price. Okay, This is the model that I got, the Cyclone 18-speed. $49.99 is the price. Make note of that. Another little priceless uh, example coming up. Okay, so I get here, and... I am looking for replacement part. Nowhere on this site do I see any link for replacement part, for one thing, which is kind of dumb. Um, so you go to the product page, you get the option to buy it, right? Um, because we got to, it's important to make money coming, get money coming in. Uh, product recalls, privacy policy, I could go to, I thought there was a site but somewhere here I saw a site uh, map. Uh, product recipes, food prep, so it doesn't really tell me anything here. Um, let's see. And in fairness, 
And then the last uh, property falls somewhere here on the way. Where to find customer service? Uh, email this product to a friend. And I'll be fair in my uh, somewhere here, and I'm not seeing it on this page. I might have had to look somewhere else to. Um, Okay, well that's that's a flaw right there. It doesn't seem to take me to. Um, let's see. Let's go back and look at my history, and this might this is going to be out of um, will be out of the frame of the video. Okay, it takes me back to there. Um, but as you can see, there's there, there's nothing that says you know here's okay let's go to customer care warranty user manuals okay user manuals customer center maybe that's where I went. But here I'm having to search for um, how to find a replacement part, and it should be able to. It, it's amazing that they're clearly with all the stuff that Black and Decker has out there. There's got to be people asking for you know. Well, this part came off, or that part came off. So you go all the way down here, and you get to parts and accessories. Okay, so for parts and accessories for your Black & Decker household appliance, please visit our partner, Fox International, or use the following, and you can call them. Uh, this, of course, is on a Sunday, uh, so I'm not going to be able to reach anybody, which is fine. I'm, I'm not going to nitpick about business hours and so forth. Um, but we go to Fox International, which takes me to this tab. Okay, so here we are at Fox International, and let's enjoy this process together, shall we? So this is where to go when um, you have any Black and Decker product or any Black and Decker household appliance. I am a U.S. customer. I'm going to click on that. Okay, so here we are. Uh, it says you can call the 800 number or email us, but we already know they're not around. Okay, so they're not working on the weekend. So that's kind of pointless. Um, and I'm completely willing to be self-sufficient here, but I'm not given any tools to do that. Um, so we could go all the way down and go through these pages, but that didn't pan out for me. So I went over here. Went to, okay, Black & Decker Parts and Accessories, okay? And I go, here's all these other different brands mentioned. I click on, okay, Black & Decker. So this information doesn't give me anything. So I go back to here, Black & Decker, and it'll take me back to the same page, right? So I put um, uh, the, the name of the product, a Cyclone, Cyclone Blender. As you see, I'm already cooking in there. I do a search on that, and here are the results that come up, okay? Um, do you see, okay, there are the results, okay, no picture of the blender, uh, and I'm not seeing that these are actually cyclone blenders, okay? Here's a juice extractor, that's not, not the same thing. Um, and so let's go to more and look at that well so the, there's been an error with your request sorry about that so it uh, doesn't solve the problem I'll go 